Welcome back. Joining us now is Dr. Christopher Crow, president of Catalyst Health Network, which is comprised of thousands of doctors. And Catalyst is going to have one of the first drive through COVID-19 testing centers up and running today. He's here to tell us more about it. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. There's been a lot of questions about testing. So who will you all be testing today? Well, the government yesterday gave us a couple new guidelines uh, different from last week where really healthcare workers, frontline workers, and 65 year olds that have symptoms uh, that are consistent with possible COVID-19. And so that's what we're gonna stay with today. Uh, we have a lot of restrictions in the system with not only PPE, which is the new term that we're learning about, mm -hmm. private uh, personal protective equipment, as well as the testing capacity itself of the different labs, whether that's LabCorp Quest or CPL, who is, who is our partner in this. And so there's only so many tests we can even do mm -hmm. in a day right now. And so we are restricting it to, to those, those two categories. So just because I'm feeling ill and I want a test does not mean that I will be given a test today. Yeah, a really yeah. important point for the public to understand is that this is not like going to Starbucks and getting a coffee when you want to. We are, right. no, we are not anywhere near that capability yet. And so it really does need to be limited to uh, physicians who are screening those type of, uh, of categories and, and then getting the testing done for those people. Now you guys also aren't disclosing a location yet, is that correct? True, Okay, correct. can you explain why for people who might be wondering? <laughs> well, uh, you know, we're, we're making up a new way of delivering healthcare as we speak, yeah. um, if you think about this. And so there's just some, some, and you're talking about a contagious, very contagious virus. And so there's precautions we're taking to, to learn how to do this with, with a safety, not only for the people coming through to get tested, but also for the people that are volunteering to actually be a part of, of this, because this is not part of anybody's job description. Yeah, and Dr. Crow, let's quickly explain to people, let's say a test comes back positive, then what? Nothing changes for you. And so the, the testing is really important for the epidemiologist to understand that more characteristics and spread of the disease. We need that information, but it doesn't actually change your treatment for, for an individual. You tell someone, go home. Go home, take the fever reducers, you know, take anything for your, for your cough, absolutely stay in touch with your, your health care provider, your primary care physician for any type of shortness of breath. Those are the type of symptoms that you may take you to the hospital. Otherwise, we do not want, we're working with the hospital systems as well, mm -hmm. we do not want people walking into the hospitals just thinking they might have it unless they're in a, in a more critical condition. Okay, Dr. Crow is going to stay with us. He'll be here. We're going to continue to chat and, of course, answer your questions. So we'll have more uh, with you. Thank you so much for being here again uh, in a little bit. Kaylee, for now, over to you to talk about the weather because it's wet out there.